The search engine results page is how we find most information online, and understanding them can give you an advantage to see what content you need to rank better. A SERP is a search engine results page. This is the page you see with the list of results after doing a search with any of the most popular search engines. Most of the time when people refer to SERPs, they are talking about Google as it is the most popular search engine. The SERPs usually include two types of listings, paid and organic listings. Paid listings are sponsored results that appear at the top of the SERPs, thus giving each listing a higher chance of being clicked. Paid listings are the primary monetization method used by search engines and they use an auction system to determine which results appear there. These advertisements aren't affected by how optimized the page is because they aren't rated by the same algorithm and ranking systems as organic listings. Organic listings are the unpaid results that appear on SERPs. Each search engine wants to show the most relevant organic listings for the query at the top of the page. This order is determined by proprietary algorithms and ranking systems which differ from search engine to search engine. However, these algorithms tend to look at factors like number of backlinks, technical SEO, keyword optimization, user experience, schema markup, social and brand signals, and content quality. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. Our goal at SEO testing is to save you time so you spend less time pulling data into Excel and more time thinking about how to get more traffic from Google. Now, back to the video. Google shows different SERPs depending on the query type used to better match search intent. This means they will rank different types of pages depending on what the user is trying to do. For example, transactional queries happen before a user purchases something and usually include words like buy, cheap, price, and discount. These are bottom of the funnel searches, and they often have paid listings due to their commercial nature. You can also expect to see SERP features like shopping results and local packs. I'll explain what SERP features are later in the video. Navigational queries are searches when a user wants to find a specific site. In essence, the user uses the search engine as a middle step to reach the desired page. Common examples of navigational queries include entering the name of a specific company website or looking for the login page. Informational queries are searches where the user is looking for answers. Some common words on informational queries include who, what, when, where, why, and how. For this type of search, it's normal to find blog posts, news articles, Wikipedia pages, or forum posts. On this type of search, the goal of the user is to find answers in a short space of time. In almost all cases, informational queries include SERP features. Google does this to fulfill user intent and answer the question right there on the SERP. SERP features display different types of results based on the query to offer better context and functionality that is not possible to achieve with a list of blue links. The most popular SERP feature is probably a featured snippet. A featured snippet is a box that appears at the top of the Google SERP to give a direct answer to the query. This feature extracts the text from a web page and shows it directly in the SERP and usually includes the page title and URL as well. Feature snippets are common for informational queries and other searches where the answer is concise. AI overviews are Google SERP feature that use generative AI to give summaries of search results. They provide comprehensive summaries of the topic based on information gathered from multiple sources, often sources included in the organic listings for that same SERP. They can show direct answers and have the potential to explain complex topics. Sources are listed both in the paragraphs produced by the AI and on the right-hand side of the AI overview. Just keep in mind that as the answers are produced by AI, they can sometimes be wrong. A knowledge panel shows the key information about people, businesses, events, and other entities. This data comes from the Google Knowledge Graph data and can include a combination of facts, images, related links, and entities, all to provide more context to your search. A People Also Ask box is a Google SERP feature that shows questions related to the current query. By default, the answer to questions remain hidden until the user clicks the arrow to reveal it. An interesting part is that this is an interactive SERP feature. 
This means Google will load more questions as users click the boxes to reveal answers. An image pack is a SERP feature showing images relevant to the query. Google displays this when its algorithms thinks users will benefit from these visuals. A local pack displays a map with information about a business or location related to the user's query. This SERP feature can show data like addresses, business names, opening hours, and star ratings. Google includes local packs on SERPs in specific scenarios, usually when searching for specific locations. It can also be triggered for near me queries. A knowledge card is a SERP feature showing concise information about a search query. These cards appear at the top of the page and give users an immediate answer. Data for these cards come from Google's knowledge graph and display information about well-known events like entities, famous people, and places. A knowledge card can also include information like stock market data, calculators, and weather information. Shopping results is a SERP feature showing product listings related to the query in a carousel format containing product images, prices, and retailer information. Since this is a paid listing, you must be running Google Ads to appear in this SERP feature. Top Stories is a Google SERP feature that displays relevant and timely news related to the query. This is usually found at the top of the results page and provides quick access to breaking news and trending topics from various online sources. A thumbnail is a feature where Google shows an image near each listing in the SERP. This can appear in feature snippets or knowledge graphs, for example. A video preview is a SERP feature displaying relevant videos. This usually has a thumbnail showing more details about the content. And Google can even highlight the most important part of the video. Usually, users can watch these videos without leaving the SERP. A tweet box is a SERP feature showing posts from Twitter slash X on Google. This usually appears when searching for a popular or trending topic. Google tends to pull popular tweets posted recently, providing real-time updates and insights on the SERP. Now, if you want to make the most out of your Google Search Console data, use SEO testing to set up SEO tests and know what changes to your site increase traffic. We have a 14-day free trial for you to test it. Sign up using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.